Hi friends, this is Sahaj Vagra, working as an Oracle Apps DB. Today I am going to share about the Oracle Apps Cloning in release 12.2.0. Let's see how do we do that. And in this tutorial, I am just completely uh, explain about the configuration of the tag node because preparation. Uh, see, for example, uh, if you doing the cloning activity in Oracle Apps and VRM means we have to follow the four steps. What all those things means? Uh, preparing the target. I'm sorry. Preparing the source node. Preparing the source node. It's very important thing. Preparing the source node is done by running the ad preclone.pr in both in dbtar as well as the appstar. So once we run that, these files, I'm sorry, that files will create your uh, templates and driver files on the specified directory because the files create the staging area also under some directory structures some like uh, for dbtar it will be created on the oracle home app sitter clone directory obviously in application tar it goes to the comment top directory comment top yeah uh, it goes to the comment top directory okay so we already covered that so we already covered that we are going to see about the configuration here copy uh, yes of course uh, uh, once this steps are over we need to copy the source instance to target so that will be the important thing after that only once we copy that uh, directory means uh, the tar files or the zip files what you uh, what are the things you will uh, you wish uh, if it is a tar or zip whatever the thing you have to uh, transfer the thing from the uh, source to target once you've done that uh, we just go for the configuration in the target node so I already done that for example see my directory structure is there and my instance name is USA so which is my target instance we can't able to find anything in that directory for example see the home location is not here my zip location is here I already transfer I told you I transferred from the source uh, node through NFS so what I'm going to do here means I'm just going to unzip the <coughs> <coughs> excuse me uh, target uh, that means the tar files <coughs> So here the no hub file is complete uh, successfully. So it's done. So what here happened means uh, I just create a I'm not creator, the tar file is created the directory. That is the home directory here, level point two point zero, which is the version of that. Which is the TDBs, that means the RDBMS version. So this is the important thing I have to notice and I'm going inside of that. So you will find there is lot of things here and also this environment is a test environment but the directories came from the production. Yes, it's a real time production. So you will find that the production EBS environment file is there. So, if you, uh, in case, if I have source this file, yes, of course, it definitely gets source. But I can't able to open the SQL press prompt tool. So here, 
command not found see that is the thing because the bin directory oracle inventory nothing is there so we have to set it down so is it possible did you think uh, is this possible to uh, source and change every files in this area never it's not possible so that what oracle is designed uh, the db text and format and also we need to run the adcfc clone here which is the important script so what we go what we do here let's go to the app serial directory which is the directory is created by the script called ad preclone.pl which has been run in the uh, source environment so uh, here you can uh, you can guess it see ad preclone is creating the source directory and we just copying the source directory see ad preclone is creating the source directory files which has been utilized by the config files that means the configuration script is utilizing that directory so that is the main concept here hope you all understand so i am going to the path so friends please concentrate on the path also it's very very important the paths path is the thing which helps to uh, reduce the time so see still my production directory is there uh, but uh, after the script is run it's no longer valid but before that we need to use the script directory alone so i'm just entering in the script directory so what has happened so what i'm doing here these are the files which has been existing in the previous directory i'm sorry please the source node i won't go from here i need to go back hey come on you and there's lot of activity so that's what i'm just confusing if you see the pwd what is the directory see oracle home app switcher clone bin directory which is the important thing uh, previously i just go to the wrong directory because uh, i'm just concentrating on some other things so i just apologize for that so this is the directory which is we have to uh, go for the cloning part so here we will find which is the important script called adcfc clone and we will use the script for different usages <coughs> there are several usages in the script uh, we will find it like a uh, hey, come on friends we don't have that much of time so i just directly explain about the steps how do we do the cloning in the real time environment so that's what uh, so i'm just going to execute the script but without uh, i'm not executing without any mode see i am going to execute like that db text stack so first i need to configure see there is lot of modes there is a i think a five modes or available in 12.2 series uh, db tar db config uh, db text stack db rack node and also something is there but i forgot that if you want to uh, know about the thing means just put the vi command and go inside the script and just explore about anything db stack okay so i'm just executing here so it first it asks for the apps password which has been you have to provide the source apps password don't uh, uh, use any new password here so in this part uh, it just prompt for several question to prepare the contest file so 
target system host name yes the host name of this apps and we are that means the target environment is apps so by default it just showing this apps so it just uh, get the information from the adc files if you satisfy with this and so you just put the enter if you not satisfy if you want to provide the custom uh, text here means you just type it here so i'm just satisfied for that so i'm entering here yes okay target instance is uh, no i'm not working in clusters okay my shit name yeah it's the rdbms database name Thing. I'm a base directory here. So the thing is, what is your base directory here? So this is your base directory. So you have to use a don't use the slash here. Okay. I'm just copying here like that. And you know about that. You are UDL file directory is by default it goes to the uh, where is the thing yeah use a temp directory okay you will find it in the p file I just share it later here we have to put the slash symbol uh, number of data tops on the target no it's one yeah one target system data top directory it's wrong because it just took the information from the p file but here we need to put the new directory names the data top is here it's my data top and see my rdbms home directory yes do you want to preserve the display time no. yes here it's asking the port pool number so if you want to uh, change it means you have to change otherwise just put the yes So my uh, configuration part is going here. So uh, why I am using the DB text stack here? This mode, ADCFG clone, will run in different modes. Okay, ADCFG clone will run in the different modes. So one of the mode is called as the DB text stack. God. Automatically scrolling. One of the mode is DB text stack. What it does mean it just configuring the Oracle Home alone. It's not creating the database. We have to create it. Okay, we have to create it. It's just configuring the home with the name of them because you saw it. I'm already by mistaking. I'm just go to the uh, production environment. By mistake, I'm just go to the production that DB. You see, it's my production DB name, and also you file, you will find the directories like that. But uh, so that what? It's not configured. It's just copying the source node information. So I need to configure it. So that only I'm using that option. If I'm using the whole DB tire mode means it just use all the set of things see uh, if I am use the DB tire option here what it does mean it's just a combination of all other modes is the it just include it just including the DB tire DB config I'm sorry DB text stack DB config mm.
db text tag db config everything will be <coughs> it's the combination but uh, it is yeah here so now uh, yeah in this part uh, if I am use the db tag here it goes to the error yes definitely it goes to the error part because my database is not available still So I'm not duplicating the database, not yet. So that what I'm just using the DB text stack mode here. Okay. See, yeah, the same time. It it also completed, I think. Uh, you will find it here. Um, yeah, it's completed. See the completed apply database listener C C C C database listener I I'm not created manually see those things are created by the script which is the important thing database listener without listener we can't able to survive in the thing see the listener is down the listener is up everything will be successfully done it's completely configured and the very important thing is existing with the status zero so this means this sounds good So now I'm going to the same thing. This means that means I'm just going to the admin scripts home. See? the director has been created previously the director is not there by mistakely I'm going to that directory but after the script is run I'm getting this directory okay this is the thing if you saw it I can able to start the DB here did you think it's possible to start the DB here it's not possible because the data file control file is not here so I'm going to duplicate the database here so let's see how do we duplicate the database it's not possible because the data file control file is not here so I'm going to duplicate the database here so let's see how do we duplicate the database duplication we need the backup so I'm going to perform the backup based duplication using view order so now I can able to go to the SQL prompt because I have the because I have the environment file when we were my file as newly created if I am sourced I can able to open this SQL prompt wherever I think see it's opened so what it does it just create the p-file also adcfg block very proper file script database is open and it goes to the uh, no mount state after that only and I can able to 
do the duplication so, so sorry. before that let's go to the DBS director so there's a lot of files this way it's confusing editor in the Actually, I want to do this. You do that. So, here we need to add. Wherever you want to add its evaluation, <coughs> it doesn't matter where you're going to add, but I'm just searching for the good place, that's it. Here I'm going to add it. But before that, copy that. That's it. So save it. My net file is successfully saved. Oh God. 
yeah. See, it's my mistake. Wrong name. No file name check. Yeah, it's successfully going up. Uh, duplication is going up. Um, while it's running, database is going up and down. The same thing. Why I'm doing the backup based duplication means I'm not going to disturb the production environment anymore. Once the backup is available, you can move it from any other tool using the NFS or some other tools which have which helps to move the backup files from the uh, where, uh, the source to target. So you can use whatever it's ever wish, but it's my opinion. Uh, better do the backup based cloning. It will be pretty simple and also safe method for the real time environment. Uh, because I worked in different projects. Some of the people who are doing the active based cloning means uh, uh, hoping the environment is uh, pretty much faster. But in my think is my opinion, I'm just seriously suggesting don't go for that because your production environment is always growing and uh, yes did you think uh, yeah there is nobody else using the environment we have the proper downtime so all the clients go down then also the production environment is still working some of the patching some of the uh, background works are still going so my, I'm just seriously avoiding that. So why do we need to uh, always uh, disturbing the production environment? I don't want to disturb the uh, disrupt. Yeah, I don't want to disrupt the production environment anymore. Once the backup is being taken, means yes, that's it. The work is over. The backup is enough for the cloning backup that's enough for our cloning of course no the thing is we need to do the cloning that's it and also simple and also safest method so that's what I'm just preferring the uh, backup based cloning it's not new all your seniors all my seniors are talking about this one how to reduce the downtime of the production did you have any answers? <laughs> God, I hope so. Just wait for a while. Uh, it's getting later because the RAM server is very slow. Uh, I think we have only 32 GP of RAM. So here, uh, all my duplication is over. It's almost uh, one hour it, it took. So once it will be succeed, see my directory is here. Just move it to the directory. Where the contest files exist. By default, it will be in the actual directory. You will find the contest file here. See, contest file is here. But, but see, um, the contest file is not have that much of permissions. You have to change the permission here. Then only it will be get a proper executor. Now I'm going to run the <coughs> C 
f check now d beta so the option is now d beta why i'm using means because uh, then only all of the steps will be automated because d beta is the combination of all uh, modes i already spoke with this so here i'm going to mention my contest file name otherwise uh, if i'm not mentioning means if otherwise it asking again the things so that's what Execute successfully. Um, so you can see, you will find it. Make sure about that. Existing with zero. This means we are working well perfectly. So it's completed at 15 percentage. I don't think it won't complete it with 100. Add some symbolic code here. Jupiter is properly con configured. So next we need to configure the application time. Uh, we will see later. Thank you.